Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It seems like I accidentally started an eco styler series because my last video I did an eco styler, you know, just tips and tricks and just a basic eco styler wash and go video. And then in the meantime, I got tired of not having the eco styler flaxseed and coconut oil gels. I just got tired of other people talking about it and me not having it. So kind of on impulse, I ordered it and I got it and I used it. I'll actually be comparing the two new Eco Styler gels. So I was really excited to try them. I tried them. One side has one, the other side has the other. It does look kind of similar, but there are differences. And I'm going to let you know all about them in this video. So to start off, I got the 16 ounce of each of them. This one is the Eco Styler Coconut. And this one is the Eco Styler Castor and Flaxseed. They both have this similar kind of glowy consistency. I guess Eco Styler got their glow up. So this one is like kind of whitish, silverish glow. And this one is kind of a goldish glow. So let me kind of slowly angle so you can see them. It actually smells like a good natural coconut flavor. This flaxseed one doesn't smell like flaxseed or anything, which is probably good. It doesn't smell as chemically as some of the other Eco Stylers, but it doesn't smell as natural as a coconut one. So definitely coconut wins in terms of scent. In terms of ingredients, the Eco Styler flaxseed is actually the surprise standout winner because this Eco Styler coconut is very similar to the other Eco Stylers in terms of the fancy if you could call it a word fancy, <laughs> ingredient being like all the way at the end. So for example, this one, the only natural thing it has in it is coconut oil and the coconut oil is, is second to last in the ingredients. Coconut oil is just before fragrance. Kind of basic eco style in other words, similar to how the olive oil and everything else. You know, have it all the way at the end. I think you can see that. Don't buy this for your health in other words. <laughs> Definitely if you want coconut oil, buy your own coconut oil. But the Eco Style of Black Castor and Flaxseed actually surprised me and I guess a lot of naturals because they actually have castor oil and then flaxseed in the first five ingredients. So let's get into how these actually worked. I'm just going to show you a quick demo of how they were to apply and then I'll be right back to discuss, you know, what you saw in the demo, my feelings on applying it and also my result. So take a look. So, to make it fair, I didn't rinse either section. I'm going to rinse each section just before I put on the gel so that no section is drier than the other. So, I don't have much conditioner in here, but I have a little left in, but I'm going to rinse it out before I get started. So, one second. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to start with the coconut oil side. So, this is before. Coconut oil is second to last in this, so you can pretty much say it has no coconut oil. But let's see how it works as a gel. So as usual with Eco Styler, it's like super thick. And you know, I just kind of slowly and carefully work it in. This is my hair after applying the Eco Styler. Um, usually Eco Styler flat. <laughs> And now I'm going to apply the flax seed, but first I'm going to do like a LCO. So this is with nothing on it. Like you see I have pretty good slip now. Like once it starts drying a little bit like you've been working in for like you've been working it in for a little while, the slip kind of reduces or goes away. Okay. Yep, it's starting to happen now. <laughs> Where the slip kind of doesn't feel <laughs> it's 
still looks about the same. Coconut oil. Taxi oil. <laughs> you guys have me that's so crazy. Flaxseed oil. Flaxseed oil. Coconut oil. Okay, so that was it. <laughs> that's how I got this result. This is actually a day two. I was able to, I didn't want to mess with it too much, but I was able to kind of pick a little bit and fluff a little bit and shake a little bit to try to get some height, you know. So I'm not too sad about the flatness. It isn't as flat as when I use the like crystal and olive and stuff eco stylers. And also it isn't as crunchy. So that's good. In fact, the coconut oil side actually has less crunch, so it's even softer. It's still eco style. I wouldn't say it's Camille Rose in terms of softness, but I could actually use this coconut oil one and not hate my hair. So that's big for me. Because usually I can't stand how my hair feels with eco style on it. So the castor oil side for me is just on the wrong side of crunch, like crunchy, like into the my hair feels stiff kind of crunch. And the castor oil is just on the correct side, like, okay, you know, I feel the whole, but I can live with this. I can, I can live with this. So that's really big news for me because I usually don't like eco stylers, except for the curls and waves, which I'll talk about later again. But yeah, so coconut oil, softer, um, hair felt nicer. I think I got my slightly more elongation at the beginning, but it looks pretty even now. And it's, my hair could also just be longer on one side as well. No. So you can see that, but I don't know if my hair is actually longer or if the side is more elongated because of the castor oil, but there's like a half inch <laughs> between this side and that side. So, <laughs> but people were saying that the coconut oil elongates, so I don't know, that could be it as well. As you saw in the demo, the coconut oil eco styler goes on really thick and tacky. It's not as thick as the argan oil, but it's thicker than I think the crystal and the olive oil. So that was a little bit of a not my favorite thing, but I was able to work it in. You know, it wasn't the best slip in the world, but the slip was enough to get me by. On the other hand, the caster going on and had great slip, but then as, as it started to dry and be worked in, the slip just started to disappear. So eventually you saw my fingers kind of started to stick after a while. I was like, uh, because I watched um I watched Ashkin Curls wash and go video using the flax and then she talked about that same thing. So when it started happening, I was like, uh, there it is, you know. So I knew right away, escape, escape, in other words, kind of try to wrap up messing with it and just kind of leave it alone from there. My hair is pretty wiry and coarse. I think she said her hair is also kind of wiry. So if you have a silky texture, it may not bother you, but if your texture is kind of more rough to the touch, then if you're using this, you better work it in quickly. <laughs> or maybe add some olive oil or something, some kind of slip to it. So this, I didn't really like the application, but it was okay. Because it was, I don't really like the thick gel, so this is thicker, I think, than the crystal. This, the application at the beginning was great, and then it got worse than this. So overall, I have to say this was an application. So this went in fragrance, and application and definition and softness <laughs> this wins in ingredients and that's about it so far I really wanted to like it I really did because you know the ingredients are better and everything but I had to give Jack his jacket and this coconut oil did me better so this has a flip top as opposed to the screw which everybody says that they like I don't know what's so exciting or great about a flip top I think I'd rather screw it personally because I don't feel like this flip top really closes it as tight so it is closed but you know I feel like a good drop on the floor and the stuff might fly off and there goes your stuff. I'm good with this. I didn't need that extra. I'm good with the regular screw. One negative thing I could say about the coconut is that it went on kind of white. So if you're one of those people who really wash and go as and run out with wet hair, you definitely probably need to diffuse or something or you might be better off using this. In terms of moisture, right now the humidity is just moderate so I think it's a fair time to test these. In really low humidity, this one might be better since the glycerin is lower down. But in terms of now when it's kind of even, the coconut oil will retain more moisture. So this, my hair on this side feels softer and more moisturized. Whereas the hair on this side feels a little less, it's like almost the same but a little less moisturized. For me to really get the difference between softness and moisture, I kind of squeeze it down. Because when, when I squeeze it down, I can feel to the actual strands and feel how moisturized they feel. 
So even if it feels like kind of crunchy to the touch, when I squeeze it down, I can kind of tell whether I feel any moisture in there. So that's what I was doing there. So coconut oil will also help retain more moisture. I wouldn't say that any of these are moisturizing. So people who just put this on direct with no leave-in and stuff, you guys, I can't live that life. Like, I can do that with like Camille Rose or something, but not with Eco Styler. None of those things are as moisturizing to me. So I stood up beforehand with the full LCO. I wasn't waiting for Eco Styler to moisturize my hair. At least I'm really glad I did this side by side so I can feel some nice hair on this side if I had to live with this. Not like it's horrible, but you know, I'm liking that I have at least somewhere to touch that's kind of nice. I think a lot of people on YouTube seem to prefer the flaxseed, but I'm one of those, like I'm on Team Coco. And I think I'm going to be coming on with another Eco Styler review because one of my subbies asked me to try the curls and waves. So I think I might do one more Eco Styler and then maybe do a conditioner only or something to get all this Eco Styler out of my life. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you tried the Eco Styler coconut oil, black castor and flaxseed and which one you prefer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.